Hey y'all, we outside, we outside. <laughs> Oh, I ain't got no sense. Really? They would call while I'm busy with y'all. That's the things that they do, guys. That's the things that they do. When you're not busy, nobody calls. But when you're busy, somebody call. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you want to know what the cons are working from home, you might want to stay tuned because you do want to hear this. I'm sure you do. From your girl, customer qu queen, sir. I'm at customer service queen. You want to hear from the queen, okay? All right, welcome back, kings and queens. Woo -woo. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. So I'm going to KFC. So I decided to come on here to talk to y'all about the. Um, about the cons about working from home any job that you do okay i like to say work from home because that's oh okay that's what i i like doing is working from home so um but there is cons with it guys i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna front y'all know i never front i be always up front with y'all and tell y'all the truth so number one the cons are, if you're a very social person, if you're a people's person and you like to be around people, working from home would not be a job for you, okay? <laughs> the reason why I say that is because ain't nobody gonna be around you. You ain't gonna be able to socialize because who are you gonna socialize with? Yourself. Or if other people calling you over the phone like family members, kids, brothers sisters uncles or whatever that's the only way you socializing when you're working you ain't gonna have nobody sitting next to you unless if you i don't know unless if you have somebody else that work from home with you that's the only way but other than that you're not going to be able to socialize with anyone guys so if you're a type of person that like to socialize that like attention that seeks attention then working from home is not for you ain't nobody got time for that two um the other thing is you have to pay for internet service which you're running up your bills you're running up your electricity bills especially because you're constantly on that wi-fi you're constantly using your computer every day or depending on what type of business you're doing if it requires a phone service you're constantly running that so it's just bills after bills but that's only monthly. So depending with your situation, that's another thing. That's another bill you have to worry about, okay? Okay. And um, the cons are also, if you live in an area that usually has out, out um, outages a lot, like if you live in a countryside, any little storm may, um, affect your services then working from home is not for you it's not if you're a person that's not consistent with paying your bills especially your internet bills sis and bro and you know you're working from home and you still can't get that intact working from home is not for you these are the things y'all need to think about for real because right now if you can't get that um together then it's messing with your money and i know y'all love money and i know y'all don't like people messing with your money so don't forget about that. Yeah, working from home may sound good and all because you're working in your pajamas, you ain't gotta worry about taking showers or whatever the case may be. <laughs> but then again, these are what comes along with working from home and people don't think like that. Um, yeah, and especially if you're working for a company that's not paying you enough money to get your bills right and get your you know your money right or whatever like that to where you can afford these um necessities for work from home then you might want to reconsider thinking about working from home um what's the other thing guys what's the other bad thing working from home you cannot have a pet i like turtles all right you're great zombie <laughs> 
if you have any cats or dogs, keep them away or, or send them to doggy daycare or, or animal daycare or something like that. Because if your company is strict about animals and you know dogs, anything they hear, they start barking. And imagine you having a customer on the phone. You know what I'm saying? That's so unprofessional. So you wanna make sure that you have no pets while you're working from home. And you know, some cats are more talkers than others. You know what I'm saying? You got some cats that's like very talkative. You know, you got some cats that want to be under you 24 seven where you can't focus. And you want to make, if you have a bird in your house, guys, if it's a big bird, you know them things be crack -a -lack and at a given time. You want to make sure that that bird is probably at your neighbor house or something. <laughs> or if you have a parakeet, guys, make sure you're not working in the same room with the parakeet. Simple. Or you could just put a sheet over them and they already thinking it's nap time and they might keep quiet, hopefully. <laughs> but I'm just saying, these are the things you guys need to think of when you want to work from home, if you're considering working from home. These are the things that it's very important. You can't have, if you have your kids around, guys, you got to make sure that they're quiet. You got to make sure that they're quiet. You got to make sure that your background is quiet because there's a lot of work from homes that are very strict, especially when they're sending you their equipment and they're paying you really good money. They want you to follow their rules and their policies. So you got to make sure that you're on top of that. Okay, let me get the going because I could be driving and talking to you at the same time, which is bad, but yeah, you got to um, make sure of that, guys. And um, what's the other thing? What's the other thing? Yeah, um, you gotta make sure that whatever appointments that you may have or any maintenance or services that needs to come to your home that day when you work from home is not loud. Let's just say I'm talking about lawn mowing, people that have to come and fix stuff plumbing that requires banging and stuff like that while you're on the phone with the customer is not something that you want to do when you're working that's why they give us off days guys off days one off day on the weekday and one off day on the weekend so you got to select either or days on your off days to get these things done you get what i'm saying because there's a lot of companies out there like they tell you from the job, if you can't pro provide any quiet space for us, for our um, company, then you can't work for us because this is the requirements. And you got to respect that, guys. You got to respect that. You know what I'm saying? So those are the cons. Those are really the cons to uh, from working from home. Um that I can think of that I can honestly think of um, so yeah guys if y'all know any cons that I probably might have missed let me know let me know so I could bring it up on another video but those are the cons that I could honestly think of guys So hopefully this is something that, you know, is helpful for you. These videos are helpful because these are my experiences. This is what I have experienced working from home. And um, if you have noisy neighbors, oh yeah, here's another one. Cause you know, these walls nowadays that they make is very thin. So sometimes you can hear everything that's going on next door. Everything that's going on next door. You hear me? guys and not even that if you live in a home and you ain't got no neighbors or you live in a countryside and you do got neighbors but they're not as close as you or whatever like that then good for you but sometimes you still can hear them you still can hear these noisy neighbors or if you live in a city you know how busy the traffic could be make sure your windows are closed and sometimes you can't avoid the noise even though the windows are closed or not because the sirens be so loud. 
the sirens be so loud around this time guys like around busy times or whatever no matter what you hear sirens everywhere you want to make sure that you're able to avoid all of that you get it so i think that was it guys yep that was it that was it guys because you don't want to make it seem so obvious i don't know like if um if you're like me i'm a bit picky when i'm calling in a business if i hear weird sounds in the background then i'm just like mm, i'm gonna hang up and call back hopefully i don't get someone that sounds weird or someone that sounds like they're not into helping me or someone that sounds like they're working from home or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, guys. So, hopefully this was very helpful. And, um, don't worry, I'm not gonna hit you. I'm not gonna hit you, I promise. Hopefully this was helpful, guys, and um, and if you got this far in this video and you did not yet like, comment, and subscribe, go ahead and do that, and I will catch you guys back on the next video. And I want to thank you guys again for being so supportive and watching my videos and being engaged and oh i love you guys love you love you love you all right guys i'm out this time i promise bye hit it hit it hit it get it get it get it get it uh.